New tonight at 8, a new PBS documentary shot in Monterey highlights what it takes to save a sea otter, an animal that goes a long way in helping the environment. But as Cronford's J.R. Stone reports tonight, some of them are better known for their violent mating behavior. Two sea otters holding hands as they float, a sight that is actually common, a technique used so the two animals won't float away from one another, but beware. Looks can be deceiving, yeah. Their sexual preferences are definitely tending towards rape. She did not misspeak there. Rape within the animal community. As cute as sea otters are, they may be best known for their sexual prowess, their violent behavior when it comes to mating. If they can't find a female around, they're going to go for whatever's the right size, what looks right. And what has been documented as looking right to a sea otter? Baby seals on occasion. In fact, sometimes the act is so rough, it ends up killing the baby seal or female sea otter. Elkhorn Slough is an area near Santa Cruz with the largest sea otter population in California. Upon arriving, there is a section nicknamed Boys Club because of the high number of male sea otters. With mating dominated by a few males, it leaves others to fend for themselves in search of a mate. Be it a seal or a sea otter, they actually take off the nose pad of the females or will attempt to. They bite the nose really hard. It's just generally an aggressive event. In fact, one study found that some sea otters who killed a baby seal as they mated continued to mate with it for another week. Yeah, they're, they're not sweet, cuddly little animals. They, they are cuddly, but not sweet. They will rip your face off. J.R. Stone, Cronfor News.